How's it going everyone? Welcome to 204 Pokemon Breaks. I want to sincerely apologize for the delay in um, updating the list and everything. I was away from my phone and actually focused on my schoolwork all day today. It is the final week of my senior year so there is a lot on my plate right now. Um, but I am happy to be breaking tonight with you guys. So uh, we're doing a little bit of a mixer, a little bit of a change um, compared to the champion path break. So we're doing two uh, sorted collection boxes. So we got the shiny Tapu Koko GX box. So there's a sorted pack in there. I see two Guardian Rising, um, one Steam Siege and Sun and Moon. And of course you got your Lycanroc GX box. Uh, Sun and Moon base, I see Steam Siege and an Evolution. Okay, so aside from that, we got five Rebel Clash, of course, and then one Korean Shiny Star V. And of course, you guys know me, token of appreciation for you guys, especially the long wait in updating the list. I threw in some extra packs, so we got four um, Thai Set, Zamazenta, and Zacian V packs, the Thai Set A, as you guys can see here. And of course, the Pokemon 25th Anniversary um, pack and everything so let's get organized here and then we can jump straight into the break i hope everyone had a great sunday as i said before time just totally slipped um today in my case and i've been i've been so focused on work that i totally just lost track of time um so my apologies wasn't on my phone was trying to avoid any distractions to get the most work done and i just got totally lost in updating the breaks and everything Okay, so we got our first promo, the Tapu Koko GX Large. It's going to the electric type, so uh, the Tapu Koko GX is headed to Jiffy. Congratulations. Okay, code card aside, and we got our four assorted packs. We'll check those out after. And then we got our smaller promo. I'll just get a focus and then we'll place that aside as well. Okay, so moving on. We got our... I think I caught myself. We got our... <laughs> Lycanroc GX box. Okay, get this one open real quick. Large promo headed to the fighting type, so this one is headed to Tyler. Congratulations, Tyler. Okay, code card aside once again, and then four packs. We'll check that out after as well. So we got our last promo to show, our Lycanroc GX. I don't think it'll focus because it's in the plastic, but um, the show must go on. So let's see what we got out of our assorted boxes. So we got Sun Moon Base, two Guardians Rising, and a Steam Siege. And then here we got Sun and Moon, Steam Siege, Sun and Moon, and Evolutions. So um, if you guys know me, I like to get organized before the break begins. Um, so I'll just group all the packs together. So we got three Sun and Moon Base, two Guardians Rising, and two Steam Siege, and one Evolution. So not too bad. Um, and of course you got your international packs over here. So I'll just put all these in the pile as well. So we'll just go in order i guess we'll end up with evolutions so we'll go in order of the packs displayed here so we got starting off with the rebel clash so i want to wish everyone in the break good luck hopefully we put some bangers today okay so we're just diving into the break i want to wish everyone good luck chase cards in here consist of v and v maxes um that include rillaboom um inteleon and such so let's see what we get today we got a reverse applin to start off going to the grass type in our first hit of the day, we got a Copper Raja V. So I forgot to get my Pokemon sleeves, but we got some regular card sleeves here. So not too bad. Copper Raja V to start off, headed to the Steel type. So this will be headed to who has Steel? Uh, Dylan. Congratulations, Dylan. Okay, continuing on to more Rebel Clash. Hopefully we see some nice V Max assortments out of the um, Sword and Shield set. So in this case, uh, the Tie set and Rebel Clash. One, two, three, four. Because yesterday we had no luck pulling any VMAXs. So here we have a reverse Stuffle going to the colorless type. And for our rare, we have a Barraskewda going to the water type. We got a nice Toxtricity pack here. One, two, three, four. Psychic Energy to start once again. Here we have a reverse Tranquil going to the colorless type. Then for our rare, we have a Alchemy going to the Psychic type. Okay, one, two, three, four. Fire Energy to start this time. Here we have a Reverse Bosses Order Trainer going to the Trainer type, of course. And for our rare, we have an Aegislash going to the Steel type as well. Sorry guys, I forgot to mute my notifications. Just give me a minute. 
my apologies. There we go. Okay, we can continue. So last Rebel Clash pack, guys. Hopefully you end up with um, a nice hit. Nice rare card. Code to the side, four to the front. Steel energy to start. Here we got a reverse scyther. Nice artwork on the card going to the grass type. And for our final rare, we end off with a hollow Galarian Cursola. So not too bad, nice hollow assortment to end off. Let's leave that up, that's going to the Psychic type as I mentioned before. Moving into our next set, we got Guardians Rising. So I see a Lycanroc chase in the front. Um, so um, obviously it is a Sun and Moon set, so your chases consist of GXs. And I believe there's really nice full art trainers in here, I'm just not too familiar with who they are. But let's see what we get out of here today. We got a reverse Deli Bird going to the water type to start off. And for our rare, we have a Oricorio going to the fire type. Okay, final. Guardians Rising. We only have two of these. Hopefully we see a nice card out of this one. One, two, three, four. We don't open much Guardians Rising. Seems like a really nice set to open. We got a reverse Clefable going to the fairy type to this start off our final pack and for our final rare we got a hollow minuar going to the fighting type so nice hollow sermon that's a beautiful hollow card actually in my opinion we didn't manage to get any um gx's or full arts but um not too bad with the hollow sermon moving into our next set we got the sun and moon base set so uh chases in here consist of incineroar a pre-marina i believe and then there's a nice Solgaleo Seeker Rare in here as well, Chase. So let's see what we got out of here today. We got three of these packs. We got a Reverse Toucanon going to the Colorless type. And for our Rare, we have a Toucanon going to the Colorless type as well. So just a regular Rare and a Reverse Toucanon. Okay, next up, second Sun and Moon. One, two, three, four. Fairy Energy to start. Here we have a Reverse Rogue and Rollog going to the Fighting type. And for our rare, we have a Cloister going to the Water type. So nothing too exciting out of Sun and Moon yet. Hopefully our last pack changes that. One, two, three, four. We got a Grass Energy to start. Here we have a Reverse Timer Ball Trainer going to the Trainer type. And for our rare, we got a Beware to end off going to the Colorless type. So nothing too exciting out of um, that set. Um... Close it, or close to the end of our assorted pack. Uh, packs, we got Steam Siege, we got two of these. So the chases in here are EXs, obviously. I believe there's a couple breaks in the set, but I could be wrong. Um, but let's see what we get out of here today. Here we have a Reverse Volcanion going to the Fire type. Nice Reverse card. And for our rare, we got a Jump Luff going to the Grass type. No, nothing too exciting out of the assorted packs, unfortunately. But we still got one more to go. Uh, one more Steam Siege, so let's see what we get out of here. Hopefully we end up with a nice card. One, two, three. Okay, here we have a Reverse Lit Leo going to the Fire type. And final rare of Steam Siege, we got Provo Pass going to the Fighting type. So really nothing too exciting out of those um, packs. Let's go through this pile real quick. Hopefully we see some nice hits out of here. So of course you got your 25th anniversary pack here. So you're aiming for that hollow Pikachu, of course. Just something to throw into the break um, as a token of appreciation, guys. So we got the Pikachu card, but it is not the hollow, but it's still a nice uh, card in here. Going to the electric type. We'll just go through these quick. Ooh, we got one of the starter Pokemon, Squirtle, going to the water type. See the 25th anniversary tag in the corner. You got a Totodile going to the water type as well. And our hollow assortment is the Turtwig going to the grass type so this hollow sermon 25th anniversary edition is going to kyle cornish congratulations moving into the international set so we got four thai set zamazan to zc and v set a and um one korean shiny star v so let's see what we get out of here hopefully some nice assorted cards so all the international cards will be headed to their respective types so um I believe this is knocked out. I could be wrong. Going to the colorless type, so bear with me as I don't remember every, every Pokemon's name. Or Rookie D, I believe this is. Going to the colorless type. We got Yamper, one of my faves. Going to the electric type. Um, I know this Pokemon, but I can't think of its name right now. Going to the fighting type. And our hollow, we got a Hatterene hollow going to the psychic type. So nice hollow assortment headed to Dylan. Congratulations, Dylan. And finally, a Skyla trainer 
going to the trainer type. So let's uh, sleeve up this hollow swordman. So typically for international cards, the hollow swordmans have um, a shimmer on the end as well. So pretty cool. Moving into our next one, started off with a nice hollow. Okay. Got a vault orb to start off, going to the electric type. Let's get a focus. There we go. Um, not Aegis Lash, not Dew Blade, but the first one going to the um, Steel type. Sorry guys, I can't think right now. We got a Galarian Ponyta, I believe, going to the Psychic type. We got an Item Trainer going to the Trainer type. And finally, a Aegis Lash going to the Steel type. So nothing too exciting out of there. Okay, we got two more of these to go, and then we're jumping into Shiny Star V. Okay, we got a Hatram, I believe, or yeah, Hatram going to the Psychic type or Hatena, one of them. Could be wrong. We got a Galarian Stunfisk going to the Steel type, Lantern going to the Electric type, Haunter or Haunter going to the uh, Psychic type. I couldn't think for a minute. Man, it's been a long day. We, and lastly, we got an Item Trainer going going to the Trainer type, of course. Sorry guys, I keep blinking out been a long day okay last um, tie set pack we got a galarian ponyta to start off going to the psychic type we got a durant going to the steel type let's get a focus if we can there we go okay and we got a probo pass or nose pass going to the uh, fighting type uh, I forgot the Milo trainer going to the trainer type and a Zatu going to the Psychic type. Okay, so um, out of those packs, we got the Hollow Assignment, which is not too bad. Second last pack of the break, guys, is a Shiny Star V Korean version. So there is a V or V Max Assignment in every pack, as you guys can see here. Um, all international cards will be going to their respective types. The main chase cards consist of the Charizard V Max, of course, and the V Shiny. So they both come in sh Shiny assortments. Aside from that, you got your Shiny or your V Max assortments like Ditto and such, which is one of my personal favorites. So let's see what we get out of here today. I want to wish everyone good luck. Last international pack of the break. Let's see what we get out of here. Get it out nice and gently. Okay, we got a Milseri to start, going to the Psychic type. A Dewblade going to the Steel. Hat Hatram, yeah, going to the Psychic type. Um, one of the Trainers, going to the Trainer type. Uh, Galarian Linoon, I believe this is, going to the uh, Dark type. Ooh, we got a Hollow Rillaboom, nice Hollow assortment, going to the Grass type. I'll sleeve that up right away. Hollow Inteleon now, going to the Water type. Okay, and then for our VS Army, we got the Indeedy V going to the Psychic type. So this will be headed to Dylan. Congratulations, Dylan. And we got a Shiny Dragapult as well to follow that up. So nice compliment to the Indeedy V. So once again, congratulations, Dylan. And lastly, our Mirror Reverse Hollow is a Galarian Yam Mask. So I'll sleeve all these up and then we can move into the last portion of the break, guys. So not too bad um, for hits overall. Got a nice Shiny Assortment aside from the V Assortment. Um, it's pretty nice. Haven't seen a Shiny out of this set in a while, so really refreshing to see so not too bad no luck with the v max assortments though haven't seen a v max in a while okay so last pack of the break guys is an xy evolutions if i'm um, pretty sure you guys are familiar with most of the hits what you're aiming for the charizards and such so uh, let's see what we get out of here today i'm always nervous opening these <laughs> i don't know why one two three to the front Okay, we got a Kakuna to start. Go through these real quick. We got a Reverse B Drill going to the Grass type. And to end off the break, final hit of the break. Let's see what we get. We got a Star Me going to the Water type. So, no luck with the Zard out of the XY Evolutions today. Um, let's do a little bit of a recap. Not really much. We got an Indeedy V out of the Shiny Star V. A Korean set uh, going to the Psychic type, Shiny Dragapult going to the Psychic type as well, and lastly a Copper Raja V and a nice uh, assortment of Hollow cards. Um, so not too bad, not really ideal, but I want to thank everyone for tuning into the break. Uh, 327 is the exact same one, so um, want to test your luck with the 
Apollo assortment of Charizards. Go check that out. Uh, once again, I want to give you guys my apologies um, for delay and updating and such. I was really, really caught up with studying. Um, it is the last week though, so uh, hopefully it'll lighten up within the next couple of days. But um, I hope you guys like this break. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to send in your updated mailing addresses, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.